the Ravage Star. Armies of the Veil Touched Miniatures Campaign has launched. Follow link in description. Pledge now to get your war pack. Or bundle. Or multiple war packs. The Veil has been breached. Chaos ensues. And plastic abounds. Campaign runs for eight days. Brace yourself for the onslaught of the Ravage Star. Wargamers, welcome to today's Age of Sigmar Battle Report. Luca here from MiniWarGaming.com, joined by Sky here from Skycast, and we are playing Age of Sigmar. It's a 2000 point game. It's going to be the Stormcast Eternals, led by Bastion Carthalos, up against some Hedon Knights. And in the Mini Wargaming Vault, paired with this game, more Age of Sigmar, naturally. It's going to be a 2000 point game of the new Magikin up against the Hedon Knights of Slanesh. It'll be Chaos against Chaos. Check it out by clicking the link down below. We play and call it work. Mini War Gaming's Age of Sigmar Battle Report. For the Stormcast Eternals, I'll be playing the Hammers of Sigmar. My grand strategy will be hold the line and my triumph will be inspired. Though I doubt I'll be getting that as I'm at exactly 2,000 points. So in fact, I know I will not be getting that. Now, the whole idea of playing Stormcast today is we had recently gotten the Lord Commander Bastion Carthalos in. And uh, I just wanted to play him. So we got him a couple weeks ago, got all painted up, and he's got really funny, silly rules. So I just wanted to show him off to you guys. Uh, we are also going to obviously be playing with a knight in Cantor uh, with the void scroll there to uh, negate a spell once per game. And it will have the arcane tome as well as the Azrite halo spell. A last character, we have a Lord Imperitant to help out uh, the Lord Commander. And he will be running the Drake Scale Armor as I am running a Warlord Battalion that will have all those characters plus one of my Adjudicators with Skybolt Bows in it, allowing me to take an extra enhancement. So I took an extra artifact because I like them. Now we are playing Hammers of Sigmar. Uh, we have lots of battle line here. We have two Dracothian Guard Fulminator units. I have not used them yet. I wanted to try them out. A couple of Adjudicators with Skybolt Bows because I wanted shooting. But I didn't want to get yelled at by everyone, so I didn't use the uh, long strike crossbows because you all have been playing against them long enough. You know how annoying they are. I'd rather shy away from that and try other things out. And of course, Vindictors reinforced to hold the middle a little wee bit. And I figured because I'm playing Silence of the Storm, I like Annihilators. I throw in some Annihilators. I had 80 points left over after everything was said and done, so we threw in the Geminids of Ulgish as well. Our Knight and Cantor will specialize in being able to cast those. Oh, and I should note, we have a Hunters of the Heartland, which will include the Vindictors and the two Dracothian Guard units, so they cannot be uh, roared at and stepped on and all that good fun stuff. Now let's go take a look at the Hedonites. And let's take a look the list of Hedonites. We have the Lurid Haze Invader Host with my grand strategy, Prized Sorcery. My Triumph, of course, plus one to wound, and I actually get to use it this time, which is very fun. My leader is Glutos or Scolion, the Lord of Gluttony, and my Lord of Pain, who is my general, as well as my Shard Speaker of Slanesh, who is also another general. Glutos is not a general, he's just in there because he uh, likes some um, eating things. I am using a Feverish Anticipation as my trait on my Lord of Pain, and the Oil of Exultation as his artifact. That is from the Lurd Haze Invader Host, which comes from the Wrath of the Everchosen book. Then we have my Battle Line. Two units of five Myrmidesh Painbringers and two units of five Simbresh Twin Souls. I'm doing something different this time. Rounding it out, two units of five Bliss Barb Seekers and an endless spell, the Mesmerizing Mirror. This is all broken down into two core battalions, a battle regiment that has everything except for five Twin Souls that are in one Hunters of the Heartland Detachment Battalion. There you go, that's 1980 points. Today, Scary and I play the Veins of Gur battle plan from the General's Handbook 2021. Now, this is the last mission in the book, and it has no objectives on the table right away. They will arrive throughout the course of the game, like a couple of the older school battle plans in uh, Age of Sigmar throughout the editions. Now, when these objectives do show up, they are all primed, so none can be removed on the third battle round. And the way this is going to work is on the second battle round of the first objective, will show up randomly in the middle of the table in no man's land on a you roll 2d6 on a roll of a 2 to 6 it shows up on the left side on a 7 it's directly in the middle of the table and on an 8 to 12 it'll be on the right side of the table and then you repeat this process on the third battle round but the objective will show on the outskirts of each player's territory instead and that too will be random where it shows up using the same chart scoring you get two points for your battle tactic every turn you get your grand strategy at the end, 
but scoring objectives are unique. You will gain points equal to the current battle round number for every objective you control. So that will keep cascading more and more towards the end of the game, with each objective being worth five victory points on battle round five. And then whoever has the most points after the fifth battle round will win the game. And here Scary and I are all deployed. Well, he's got the battle regiment. He finished deploying first. I did indeed. So he'll have the priority on dictating who takes the first turn. But to go over deployment, I'm adjudicators, knight and cantor. Uh, we have our fulminators over here. And we got vindictors, lord and paratent. Fulminators and adjudicators. And then in reserve, trying to dupe the heat knights into who is in command, we have Bastion, Carthalos, and the Annihilators. Lord, the Lord in Periton is not my general. I felt more fitting to have Bastion as my general. Uh, he, just, uh, he doesn't have, unfortunately, he doesn't have the rule where he gets to count as a general in addition to the model you pick, so I don't get a command trait. But, it's, I don't really care for the Stormcast command traits anyways, because I will be honest, I always forget about the one I take. So it doesn't really matter. I could say he's a general, and he's got the one command trait where you know things get a bonus to their safe, but I'll just forget it anyways. So it's all good in that regard. I also forgot to say what my, my, my holy command was. It's the final thunder, no, not final thunder strike, thunderbolt volley, which I'll be using on one of the judicator units uh, because they have the Justicar keyword. So there's one of them, uh, well, it'll probably be this one mostly. It depends on who, who my characters are near. Uh, Bash and Carthalos could go near them and use it on them, but uh, they will get to shoot in the hero phase once per game for a command point. So it's like a double shot. That's typically what people do with the Vanguard, the long strike crossbows, like a big unit of them. They shoot twice on turn one. Real nasty combos, stuff like that. It's nasty to deal with. Anyways, uh, that is it for my list. I don't think I'm missing anything else. What do we got for the Heed Knights? I put the Myrmidashes over here, together with the little Sorceress. Then I have Glutos, two units of Bliss Barb Seekers in the back, because they're so fast, there's no point in putting them anywhere but the back of the board. Yeah. Um, then I've got the Twin Souls, a unit of Twin Souls and Painbringers. My Lord of Pain, and another unit of Twin Souls on the flank, just shoring up all the Deep Strikers. Now I am using the Lurid Haze, which means before we get started, uh, D3 of my units will go into reserve. Oh, yes, they, they get to outflank. Correct. Nice. So I can put one unit Who's it gonna into be? reserve, and it shall be uh, my general, actually. Oh, okay, cool. I think so. Oh, you've got all the power, sir. Who's going first? I'll let you go first, my good sir. Oh, that's very I don't know where any of the objectives are, and <laughs> I'm going to let you uh, figure that out. I'll let you uh, come at me, bro. I suppose. That's fair. Yeah. It's very kind of you to let me go first. <laughs> I appreciate that. It will be turn one for the Stormcast Eternals. Oh, nothing fancy on the first turn. I'm at two command points, and Skari will be at three. Might as well throw the leadership on my Lord Imperative. Nope. I will attempt the same. Ooh, oh, actually, get... no. Ooh, That's no. a lie. You want willpower? Yeah. <laughs> I, can I, was throw... like, I was thinking, wait. <laughs> Let me just measure this first. Yes, willpower. Nice. See who play. We go ahead and cast some spells. We are going to start with Mystic Shield on the... Ah! Does she get one spell or two? She has two. She's got a fancy book that lets her cast a second. I'll, I'll throw the gem in it first. Okay. Oh, we fail. Okay. And then the second spell, Mystic Shield or Halo? I'd rather do Mystic Shield for now, I guess. Okay, we failed that one too. All right, that was easy. <laughs> uh, sure. You can't cast any spells when I'm around. But he was so ready. He was very ready. He was very he ready. He inspired Lee's speech to himself to, uh, <laughs> he yelled at you across the battlefield. You were so distraught by that. I think I'm going to go on, oh, my battle tactic is, sorry, I forgot to mention that's going to be Ferocious Advance with these three units here. Oop, that's Magnetized, don't worry about that. The Fulminators, the Vindictors, and the Lord Imperitant. And uh, we're going to go on to movement, I suppose. We're going to move the Vindictors. They're going to be issued at the double for free from the Lord Imperitant. He's allowed to do one per turn, uh, one command ability uh, without spending a command point per player turn. So they are going to move, I believe, 11. Not taking the full 11. I only went 7 to 10 inches on some of them. I wanted to reform ranks out front. The Fulminators are going to run next. An extra four. They move 14 inches. And that's where they end up. And I went and moved the rest of my units as well. They both moved five inches forward. And then over here, the Fulminators are going to hang back. They, there's nothing for them to do. There's no, there's no objectives. There's no enemy flanks to push up on. They're just going to end up uh, getting exposed and uh, pounced on. And those Judicators are going to take up that position there as well. We're going to go onto the shooting phase where I don't have a lot of shooting. Uh, I might get a couple shots over here, but we'll see. Over to here, these Judicators, uh, not this one, not in range. These four over here are going to volley into the Myrmidesh Warriors. I believe they're Myrmidesh Warriors. These guys? Yeah. Yep. All right, and that'll be uh, eight shots, mm -hmm. but we have the shock bolt bow on the prime, so he'll have d6 plus one shots. Nice. So he'll have four shots. We're going to go ahead and just throw an all-out attack on them. Might as well use up our command abilities while we can. And I will all-out defense. And that's what the command points right now. Head on twos. 
I do two mortal wounds, and then a bunch of hits here, which wound on threes. Five wounding hits, rend one. We have all those defense. Four ups, yep. And that's gonna do. Two. All right, I killed. Are they two wounds each? Yep. So I killed two of them, go down. Two die, and that's <laughs> it for them, and that's probably it for my turn. Now, over to here to these judicators, nothing's arranged for them to fire at. Luthor's too far away. Uh, we're done, no scoring. Oh, battle tactic, you have two points for my battle tactic. Broaches I advance. I uh, don't need to take a bravery because Glutos gives them plus one bravery, so they're bravery eight now, and they oh, lost two. Only lost two, yeah. Uh, but because they are under their starting strength, I will get a depravity point for that. One depravity point depravity. for you, sir. Depravity. And that is, uh, that's all I got. Two points for the Stormcast Eternals. I'm gonna go on to the Hedonites of Slanesh. All right, this is where we're at. Battle tactic. Uh, so I will Ferocious advance as well, but I'm going to pick the Myrmidash the Twin Souls, and Glutos. Okay, works for works me. Well. So that'll be my three to advance. Uh, my Lord of Pain is going to make an offering to the Fane of Slanesh mm. and take a mortal wound. Okay. And, I'll, and let's see if he ignores it. He does not, so he takes a wound. One and he gets plus one to hit. For the entire game? Uh, no, only if he gets rid of his artifact. That's what that is. Yes, okay, but yeah. I'm not going to get rid of my artifact. Does he, what is his artifact? I can't remember. Uh, his is, just gives him plus one to his wounds. Oh, okay. So okay, he okay. has yeah, so he has uh, seven wounds in total. No, six wounds in total, so he goes down to five. So these twin souls are going to select their demonic side, so they're going to get a five-up ward. Cool. And these twin souls are going to select their demonic side, so they will also get a five-up ward. Makes sense there. And well. then what's your heroic action going to be? Uh, my heroic action will be heroic recovery. Ah, oh, fair. <laughs> <laughs> that works. And yeah. he's good. He's good. Welcome back to full health, buddy. Boop. And he still gives that me that still counts as a depravity point. Correct. Yeah. Uh, and then for myself, <laughs> that's actually really cool. I love it. I will do willpower. <laughs> he's just gonna sit there like <laughs> farming one di one DP every turn. <laughs> the boy loves the DPS. I like it. I like it. <laughs> willpower over there, so of I'll course. be able to unbind from those two characters. Well, I mean, probably just him. Yep. In that case. Well, I will go ahead and start with spells. Spells. Um, the mirror. The mirror. I get plus one to cast. Ooh, I'll try and stop it. Seven. I need an eight or more. I don't. Nope, that's a, oh the plus one. No. <laughs> oh well, we tried. Okay, I will. Mirror spawns near this rock, towards the Lord, and is within six of the Lord Imperitant there. So unfortunately, he will be. A, he might be tempted to gaze. That's right. Look into the mirror and tell me <laughs> that you love me. Uh, he's gonna cast crippling famishment. Crippling. Oh, and he's gonna also pray. So let's pray first. Two up. He hey, five, five aboard. Nice. nice. I should remember that. And uh, he's going to crippling punishment needs a seven. That uh, goes seven. off on an eight. That'll uh, target them. They'll have move, have charge, have run rolls. Okay, that's it. Uh, I have no way to stop it. Ooh, she is yeah, within, she's 30. within 30. She'll try. She fails. Okay, so they are crippled famishment. She has slowed it down. A marker there for that, so they are <clears throat> generally slower until the next hero phase on the Hidden Eight side. Correct. And then do we resolve the mirror now? Uh, so end of the movement phase of the mirror. Ah, phase. okay. Yeah. He's going to run. Glutos going oh, an extra... Oh, oh. They were both sixes. They were both sixes. <laughs> Just take the six, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> and up, 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 Glutos goes. Hello. Uh, let me move eight plus that. And there's Glutos. Glutos coming up to play. Who's next? Uh, I'll do the Myrmidash uh, Painbringers. Painbringers, an extra two, four. Yeah, so they go... Uh, go into the ruins there, get some cover, yep. and get within three. And then the Twin Souls, they go 12. Nice. The Lord of Pain will also run. Two. Mm -hmm. Hello. So. The Bliss Barb Seekers on this side are going to run as well. Extra two. Two. And then a bunch coming up, protecting Glutos from behind. Uh, the Myrmidashes will also run. Extra C. Like over there. Uh, these Bliss Barb Seekers are going to just move. Uh, how far do they want to go? Now they will also run as well. Extra two. So they go six. These twin souls in the back are going to also run. Reposition the whole army. They go nine. Just stopping you from coming wherever you want. Yeah. At least that's gonna. Be. And then uh, that'll be my movement phase. So um, I'm going to bring my sorceress in. Hello. Back here. Way back here. Yep. Boop. Hello. Hello. Then also the mirror. Results. The mirror, mirror on the wall. Do this you have Do you have a ward save, my no dear? No, sir. This is This would be a huge roll if it works out for you. Oh. I lose a big ability on my okay, army. Okay, so I roll six dice. I multiply the number of sixes by the number of sixes, basically. Oh boy. Okay, mirror, mirror. How many? <sighs> Zero. None. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Got lucky. Uh, shooting. 
Okay, so we're going to do some Bliss Barb Archers. Yeah, two um, units. We're going to start with this unit here. I'm going to do two Archers into the Archers. Judicators. The Judicators. I'm going to do um, the Sergeant into... Vindictors. The Vindictors. And I'm going to do one into your character. Actually, the Sergeant to your character, one okay. into the Vindictors, and then one into the... Um, the, right. the, the demon horses, okay. and I will be all out attacking them. Ooh, down to two command points. Uh, I'm going to all out defense uh, these guys here. I'll okay. go down to one command point for that. Makes sense. Solve their shots so first. hitting on threes? That is. Is it more wounds on hits or wounds? On wound rolls. Wound I rolls. Wound needing rolls. fours to wound? That is a more wound, and oh, wow, okay. Is that in addition or instead of? I believe it's one more wound. I have no objectives nearby for the Hammers of Sigmar, so no ward saves. There's actually no objectives at all. They are just rend one. Uh, so these are back to their four ups. I will lose one of them, and one will take a wound. So we'll say you die, and you'll take a wound. And the rest of the shots. The one into... The Vindictors. The Vindictors, hitting on threes. And wounding on fours. That's a wound. One at rend one. We pass. They have three up. Nice. And character. Your character, threes. This is a champion. Yep. And... Uh, sorry, fours to hit. No, threes to hit, because he's lookout, sir. Yes. Yep. And then fours. Two at rend one. Two at one at rend one. Just one damage. Though. One damage. No reroll on this. I make both those saves. Nice. No depravity points for you. <laughs> we got them, though. And then into the big guys. Threes. And then fours. Oh, I can't stop those. Two mortals. <laughs> Two mortals. They take it. They got four wounds left on uh, that guy. One more squad of that. One more squad. So I'm going to do one into your commander. Commander. Yep. I'm going to do two into the... Uh, Vindictors. Vindictors. And then two into the other archers. Okay. Actually, no. I'll do... Um, one into the archers and one into your gotcha. commander. Gotcha. Okay. With my nice first. Yeah, my squad leader into your commander on fours. Because of look at sir. That's right. And on fours again. Uh, one, one at rend one. Which I will. I think I fail that. Because my wizard gets a three up save as well. Incredible. So, so she will pass. Nice. No problem. And then we have the shots into the judicators. Yep. And the two into the judicators. Yep. Needing fours. And my four. Ooh, yeah, fours. All but one. Ooh. Yeah. And that's a mortal wound, and mortal two, and two at minus one. I will fail both. That's three damage. So that's your dead, and one wound on you. One then into your adjutant or judutant or whatever. The Lord Imperitant. Needing fives to hit, though. Ooh, oh, that's a mortal. mortal. Very good. Very Excellent. good. And the last one into your other Vindictors. guys. Yeah. That is okay. Ooh, another one. That's I like it. No, again, no objective for ward save, so I just take a damage. Bravery on them. Uh, that is it. These guys over here, they're bravery seven, I believe. They oh, cannot so help roll fine. enemies, but no, no, no. no. Uh, you know what? <laughs> yeah, they're a seven. I was just too lazy to look, so I was hoping not to roll a six. But they're seven. They pass automatically. Nice. As do they. Uh, now we are going to get a lot of depravity points this turn. I am. So get one, uh, two, two, three, three four, four, five, five, plus the one from my lord. Six, six plus one of my generals or in your territory. Seven. Seven depravity points. depravity points right off the rip. Brings me up to eight. Of course. I might get my battle tactic, they're all within three inches of each other, uh, which was my ferocious advance. And that will conclude my first turn, Luca. And the first battle round all together. That's right. So I lose two command points that I didn't use. Uh, yeah, I, I also lose one. And then we have to roll to see where the objective is going to show up. I'm going to double check it, but I'm pretty sure we roll now before we know who has priority. Yep. One to six is over here. Seven is right in the middle. And then eight plus is over here. Before we know who goes first. So by all means, okay. roll it up. Where's it going to go? It's going to go ooh, over here. Right where Glutos right is. Right where. <laughs> oh, I got my Fulminators, though. That's okay. Yeah, that's good. It's a good. That is where the first vein of Gur is going to tear up. Right Creates in the middle them. of the road. Yes. So the little bit of a fissure forms there. Magic erupts from it, and we are there to try to secure that location. And again, it'll be worth, as an example, that's worth two victory points this turn. Now, Skyrim and I have a priority roll off. I do we win do. ties. We do. You I do got win ties. Four. Oh, very interesting. I will take the double. You turn. will take a double turn I now? I will absolutely take the double. All right, so turn two for the Heat Knights. What's the battle tactic? I'm going to do... Uh, Get two of my units into your... Oh, no, it has to be two of my starting army. Yes, mind. starting army. Oh, Savage Spearhead, I can't, yeah. I can't, sa I can't summon for Savage Spearhead. Gotcha. Which means I'm not going to pick that. I'm going to pick... Um, oh, my goodness. I I'm going to try kill Battle Line. Broken Ranks, we talking. And it will be that unit of archers. I'm going to try Broken it. Ranks, those archers over there. Alrighty. So that'll definitely... I'm going to try Prey. Yes, Thank five of ward. Goodness. Glory. And he can run and charge his turn as well. He can, battle yeah, yeah, he can definitely. I'm going to pray to the, th the Thane again. Take a damage. Uh, he doesn't heal it, and then I'll heroically recover. Excellent. Nice. Good job. So that's Good a, job, guys. That's a depravity point there. Good job. We'll do willpower, yep. and then try to dispel that with willpower. Yep, makes sense. And then... Need a seven. 
Oh, we got it. Nice. Nice. The Cover. mirror goes away for now. For now. I'm gonna try and slow this unit down. With the, the voracious hunger? Something, something, yeah. they're, they're very hungry. Uh, oh, he miscasts. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. He takes D3 mortal wounds <laughs> and he can't cast any more spells. Correct. Okay, well, he's got the ward up. He does, he does. And He'll take zero damage. Okay, nice. <laughs> My other caster is going to mystic shield all the way over here. That's good. Might, that's the only other spell, right? Yes. That's, might, that's might as well try. That's all, all I get. Right. No mystic shield. No it's mystic. movement phase. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Move these uh, Bliss Barb uh, Seekers. Hello. I'm just gonna go up this way. Going very aggressively towards them. No, 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 no. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Oh, uh, I do have to pick. I'm gonna pick. I have to pick reroll wounds, reroll wounds on them now. Yeah, because they can't do the awards yeah. this turn. Well, they they can do it the next board. turn, though. Correct. Bliss Barb, we're gonna go over there. I will throw a redeploy on them for a command point. I'll go yep. down to two. They're gonna move. Ah! One inch. One inch. One inch. That's, One inch. that's not ideal. Yeah, uh, Gluto's is just going to add the double, his 14 inches. Yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> well, let me try. Let me tell you guys, they tried. They tried to run. That's uh, <laughs> not looking great for them. <laughs> Here come some pain bringers. No, these are twin souls. Yeah, they're the twin souls. Hello, twin souls. Hello, hello. I think, uh, they're st standing me off in the middle of the road there. Correct. I like it. Uh, these uh, Miramidesh are going to run. Fast, fast, fast. Three. Yeah, they're just going to make sure that... None of your shenanigans can get close to me over here. <laughs> I'm not. These Bradesh are going to run as well. Ooh, very fast. Very nice, very nice. Uh, they're going to stay there. The Lord of Pain is going to run. He goes three, so he goes nine. Hello. He Running away from the up. Thane. Thane. He, yeah, he wants to make sure he can... Uh, order them. Order, order them. Give them a command ability. Do they not have a champion? Uh... Oh, I guess. No, but it's his command ability. Oh, he has a built-in yeah, one. I understand. Built -in gotcha, gotcha. Ability. Now, what about these Bliss Barb Seekers? Well, let's see what they do first. Ah, oh, fair. Okay, we got a unit yeah. back here. So I'm going to run with them. Um, okay. Fair okay. enough. Very fast. Fair enough, then. They move these up. Bliss Barb Seekers. Yeah, move. they're moving like this, basically blocking off the back area here. And then I'm going to use the Bliss Barb Seekers movement. To push it over this direction? To essentially push in. Yeah, just kind of... Nice. Ta-da! Beautiful. Well, something along those lines. It'll yeah. Be useful that way. I like it. My little sorceress has summoned a unit of fiends With using all eight of my depravity points that I gained in the first battle round. Well, this is oddly grim. This is horribly grim for this little uh, bunker of uh, characters <laughs> over here. This is a little... We're going to try and do as much damage as we can as Slanesh surges forth. Uh, uh, uh. We have the shooting from the Blissbard Seekers. What are the targets? So I'm going to do one into the archers. Two caters over here. I'm going to do two into the... Fulminators. And then two of them will go into the Vindicators. Okay. Did I get the name right? Those are Vindictors. Oh, dang it! Sorry, so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to issue all of defense to themselves. Okay. Against the two Bliss Barb firing at them. Sorry, I, I do have to move her closer. Because at the start of the move, uh, shooting phase, she can pick a unit with a nine. Mm. And then on three plus, I get plus one to wound that unit. Sure, okay. Okay. Hey, it works! So they get plus one wound when they go to fire at them later. Anything, anything in my army for all phases until the, basically. Ooh. So it's just, it just stays. You, it's, a, it's a little mirror. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah, it's a super mirror. Oh, that's that thing right there. Correct. Yeah, I got you. But I have to be within nine, so I can't use it when I arrive. teleport in yeah. or arrive. I have to use it, like, after, basically. So we have one shot over here, two into there, and two into the Vindictors. Correct. Let's start with these guys, I guess? Yep, so that's the squad leader into them, hitting on fours. That's a good roll. Yeah. Fancy looking roll. Wounding on that's one wound. mortal. That's right. it. Let's finish off this. Oh. Two into them. They do have all the defense on them. They do. Uh, six shots. Hitting on fours. And wounding on fours as well. Just one <sighs> at rend one. And they are fine. Cool. And that all the defense they had to order themselves. They're too far away from the Lord Imperaton for his free one. Okay. It's all that elite stuff you have there. Yeah. Luca. And then two into the Vindictors. Yes. Ah, oh, I got it. Half yes. hit. And three. That's a mortal wound and a save. One mortal and a save. That's a save and one dead Vindictor. <clears throat> Goes right through her armor. Then over to these Bliss Barb Archers. Yep. Seekers. They're going to fire everything, everything into my Everything into the, yeah. We're just going to shoot mm. everything into the. Double check in the mirror. It's only plus one wound in the combat phase, so it won't affect the missile weapons. Correct. But it still works for the combat, when that comes up. I will do phase. one of them into your, uh, into cantor. your, just in case, to try and get, in case I don't make that charge with the fiends, I can basically get in. Get the depravity point, yeah. Correct. So into the character. We have a hit. Nice. Looking for a six, essentially. That's one. A Rend one. We're good. It's okay. And the adjudicators on force. Okay. <laughs> and that pair of wounds. To rend one. Uh, that kills one and wounds another. You die. They only have a four up save normally, so mm -hmm. down to a five up. 
and you take a loot. Charging! Yeah, let's see if those uh, fiends can get in. The fiends? Oh yeah, look for nine. Fiends. Oh, I hate that for me. Ooh. I hate that so much Ooh. for me. I lose so much on that. That sucks. Oh, well. Welcome. <laughs> well, I guess I could still survive. Nom, 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 There's nom, always nom. a chance. So the uh, twin souls, I'm going to try and make it in as well. Oh, yes, they I make it in. I believe they do. I do have, uh, they do have an unleash hell here. They do. Uh, uh, they can unleash hell? They cannot? So I'm going to basically target this one. So only one of them is within six for the lookout, sir. Because we got the new unleash hell, yep. Correct. And then they're just going to. End up like that. So this End one, like this that. one will not be within six. Correct. Uh, I will not only shell then. Yes. There we go. That does make sense. Oh, we should have done over there. I forgot though. I was only. I thinking told Luca he can't. He can. Scarry said I could. Uh, you, if I've, you want to. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Too, too late to go back there. I can still do it over here though. Ah, uh, but it'll cost me command point ish. Uh, so I'm not going to bother doing it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so glutose. Glutose. Makes sense. Yes. I am going to just stay outside the six of them. Ah, fair. So they can't uh, fall out. Let me shell either. Yes. However, you can with them. Like. Mm, I'm gonna save the command point because they're a little too far away from the character. He's got a free command ability to throw, but I need to uh, de defense her, I believe. Okay. That's actually now I remember. That's why I didn't only shell with him because I needed to save the command point. I was gonna do it with him for free, but uh, it didn't seem like it was too worth it. I'd rather him do a free uh, like all out attack or something. We are gonna start fighting with the twin souls. Yes. So they get reroll. All hit rolls because of the fact that I... Uh, they took their mortal form. They did, so I'm just going to pile in. Hello. Like so. And uh, they will go ahead and attack you. Ooh, I will just... I'm going to let it happen. i got to save all the defense, I think, for the character. I hope it's not a mistake, but I'm going to try and keep my Knight Encanter alive. Anyways, uh, let's uh, see what they got. And they're going to all out attack. I am going to all out attack, so that'll be my command point. So this One, is the updated command point. Two, three... So they get three attacks each. They normally hit on fours, but I did a lot of attack them. And they're re-rolling all heroes. So three is re-rolling. Three and three. sixes are good. Sixes give me additional hits, which is quite nice. So we have a three sixes in there, which will be three more hits, and then re-rolling re into these. one more miss. So one, two, three. Perfect. Boon on threes with, so I assume, a rend. They don't have a rend. Fascinating. Yeah. They just have lots of attacks, and they are two damage. Oh, two damage is kind of big. Yeah. Okay. Well then. There are going to be three plus saving throws on them. None of them are wounded. Yeah. So every one I fail is a dead Vindictor. So that's going to be three, four, five, six dead Vindictors. Oof. Well, we are going to pull. And now you do mortals against me, don't you? That's it for your attacks, right? Yeah. So we're yeah, going to pull it. one, that's two. Th I'll lose the banner, three, four. And then I think I'll lose the champion as well to try and do more. Ah, I don't, I don't, I'll keep the champion. One, two, three, four. And then two guys from the back are gonna randomly die as well. And they will not be able to do the final. This only has to be you have to be within an inch? It has to be an inch, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna roll it because they have the Thunderstrike keyword, they get to roll three dice instead of two. So it's gonna be uh, three, six, uh, twelve dice against you. Every six is a mortal wound. And I'm gonna deal How many depravities? three mortal wounds. Three, so I will lose one. Boom. And uh, one takes a wound. And that is one, two. By banner. Three. Oh boy, here we go. We'll leave those three there in the middle, and the rest are dead. Wow, that actually, they, it's the first time I'm using this little unit. Um, that's not bad. That's not bad lie. at all. That's pretty good. The Knight Encanter will attempt to defend herself. We'll go boop to there. And she is going to attack three times with her staff. Uh, yep. Negative one to hit because they're fiends, so I hit on fours. Okay, we have two hits. Three to wound with a rend of one. Ah, uh, only one wound. Uh, six up. And it's two damage. Two damage. Uh, which one do you want to take the wounds? Uh, that one. That one? Boom. That one's fine. Two not, not the sergeant. Uh, that would be the middle one, I guess. Yes, sir. The fiends are next! I will. I will definitely go ahead with the fiends. Oh gosh, they are horrible nah, to nah, manipulate nah, their nah, movement nah, here nah, just nah, because nah. they get stuck on nah, each nah, other. Nah, 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 nah. So two of the fiends will attack the archers and one will attack the sorcerer. Alrighty then. I'm, I'm going to all-load defense the sorcerer. The okay. Can canter. So that'll be my last command point. Okay, so needing threes to hit the sorcerer with the fiend. Okay. And needing threes to wound the sorcerer. That's two. So two. This is a D3 damage, though, because it wounded on a six plus. Uh, that is a save for that one, then. Yep. Just uh, rend one. Rend one, yep. Yeah. And then the other one is a pass as well. The tail hits on threes, gives me two hits. That's true, yeah. Amazing. Wounds on threes, gives me two wounds at rend one. Oh, he passed. Ugh. Both. Oh. Barely, thanks to the old out there. That would have been D6 damage Woo. right there. Okay, right. I'm going to do threes to hit the other fiends. And the, yep, and my adjudicators there. Yeah, and then threes to wound. These are all rend one. But uh, the six is D3. D3. So I'll roll that one separate. That's mm -hmm. a five up save for that one, which I'll fail. So that's D3 damage. Yep. And then I have five more to do. Yep. Five more to do. I'll fail all those. So it's D3 plus five damage so far. Uh, that's actually them dead. Don't even have to worry about rolling it. Excellent. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, they do get the final thunder strike. So I'm going to roll six dice against the fiends. 
Not final thunder strike. Um, it's the final thunder strike. One mortal wound back at you. I take one. Boom. Going over to fight Glutos. We got negative one to hit with these archers. Yep. Uh, because he's got a 12 inch orb, negative one to hit. So they are going to go ahead and. I'm going to remember that this battle report. <laughs> I'll try my best to help you remember that. Before. Four attacks on him, hitting on fours because he's negative one to hit. And I wound twice with a rend of one. Okay, so four ups. I do maybe and a damage. And. Yes! One damage. Yes! <laughs> Debra! Glutos gets to crump. Glutos! The great blade! The great blade! Hits twice. twice. And threes. And wounds once. One at rend uh, two. Two. Six up save on their mm -hmm. armor. They fail it. That's two damage. Two damage. That's one dead so far. And the, the big crushing claw. claws. Ooh, the sixes are good. The sixes are definitely very good. And needing threes as well. Oh, that's. At rend one. <laughs> <laughs> and Ren 1. Ooh! All right, Ren 1. So that's enough to Correct. kill. They're dead. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. That is a battle tactic complete. But I do get to roll six dice back at you. Mm, as they go back mortals. to it. As they go back to Azir, you suffer maybe a mortal wound. And one. I do. You get to retaliate over here uh, with these guys. Nothing else is within three, just the Vindictors. Mm -hmm. So we have, they will pile in. And I will do no command abilities. So I'm going to save Inspiring Presence. He, has, he gets to do a command ability per turn for free. Yep. So he'll inspire them. Uh, and then those three Vindictors are going to try to uh, get some form of vengeance. Seven and thrusts with their spears. Uh, we do a mortal wound and have three misses. Uh, and then three is to wound. Three wounds at rend one. I believe it's uh, five ups. All right. And that's are they one be... damage each? Yes, that's three so damage in total. three in total. So, so one, two, three. All righty. We come to the battle shock phase. We have to start with... Oh, wait, when do you get, do you get depravity points now? Uh, after I take all the oh, bravery gotcha. tests gotcha. and stuff. They're bravery seven, and I lost three. So you're all six, good. you're good. I don't reduce it or anything. And you're going to use uh, your yes, inspiring he, presence? He will use his built-in ability to do a command ability without spending command point onto the Vindictor, so they do not run away. They hold. They hold the line, and, and now I count my depravity points. So you wounded my fiends, yes. so I get one there. One there. This unit and this unit are under their starting value for the turn. That's three, yep. So they get uh, three. And then Glutos took a couple of wounds, so that'll be four depravity points for me. Do your battle tactic and you control the objective. That's going to be four victory points this turn. But you to six to my two, but it is now my turn. Next. All right, on to my turn two. We both gain command points. Our generals are alive. And uh, current score six to four. We forgot to note the one extra depravity point. Thus, the hidden edge have five. Because a general. My invader's general is wholly within your territory. Absolutely. If okay. I, yeah, if I got, if I had three in your territory or all of them, I believe I would get D3 additional. But oh, okay. My uh, other general is um, my Lord of Pain, who's all the way over here. He's hiding. He is definitely hiding over there. That's a battle line unit that's looking me right in the face, so I will go uh, ranks unbroken or broken ranks to kill a battle line unit. Yep. Should be able to do it. If I don't, well, that's on me. <laughs> I'm going to attempt a heroic recovery on the Lord Imperitant there. Uh, he will pass and go back up to full. And I will um, hero. I know, it'll be, it'll be Glutos' finest hour. Ooh, fair. Okay. Yeah. Plus one to a save and plus one to wound. Well, unfortunately, I've lost all my shooting. Womp womp. Uh, the, well, you've got dragon breath. The holy order only works on certain keywords, so you're able to you're able to pick out those keywords. That's kind of the, the for, nature. For of the it. double shoot. For but the you double still shoot, have yeah. some mortal wounds. I do have some good shooting breaths. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the ju we're gonna have the knight and cantor go ahead and throw out. I think she's just gonna go like full defense on herself and try and scrap with these fiends and see what she can do. So she's gonna miss attempt a mystic shield on herself with an eight. I will attempt to stop you. Need a nine. No, not quite. And then she's gonna throw out a bolt. What she gets? Oh, you're minus one to cast with her, by the way. Ooh, so I, st I still get both. Yeah, though. you still you get okay. both. I just have to remember fiends. If fiends, you have any, yes. yeah, they're minus one to cast for enemy wizards within twelve. So she has arcane, she has mystic shield and an arcane bolt floating around her. That's gonna bring it right to the movement phase. So she's gonna throw out that bolt right now and deal one mortal wound to the fiend. You kill one. Got him. Bloop. Dead. And that is where I'm gonna move in the middle, just shuffling a little bit because they're blocking a lot of my movement. And the fulminators. I don't really want to utilize them, but I will. And uh, he's got finest hour active he currently. He does, yeah. So we'll see what they could act actually do. He needs do. to try and stay alive um, in this turn in case you bring all your deep strikers in and try, uh, all your reserves in and try to take him out. Shenanigans. Trying yeah. to make it as uh, hard for you as physically possible to I get do that. that. I get that. So they're going to end up moving there. And then at the end of the move phase, we're going to use the Lord Imperitance ability. It's called Guided by Lightning, and I'll choose to target the Annihilators with that so they can have a more precise uh, insertion. And then uh, Bastion, Carthalos, I don't know. I might just hold them back for a turn. 
just because there's nothing for him to immediately do. And then they come storming in right there uh, within uh, just outside of seven inches because that's the guided by lightning. It's a, a very precise. Uh oh, inch. I left a little tiny hole. <laughs> <laughs> so every, all units within ten inches suffer D3 mortal wounds. I believe on a two plus. I gotta go double check that though. All right, let's go with a three up against the. It's a three up, not a two up. We'll go. Yeah, we'll go with these guys here. Uh, they will suffer one mortal wound. Excellent. And then we'll go with the character behind that wall who will suffer two mortal wounds. Does he care? He kind takes of. two. He takes two. Nice. We're going to go with the seekers there. Ooh. One. Good. All right. I didn't want to kill them. I need to charge them. <laughs> How many? <laughs> oh, one mortal wound. One onto the seekers. And then we have the Myrmidesh are fine. And then the other Myrmidesh are going to suffer one. Then we are going to go on to, oh, I guess they have four wounds. I would have liked to do a little bit more damage, I suppose. Uh, let's go with shooting. We're going to have the Fulminators breathe lightning breath onto the Twin Souls because it's the only target in range. Two shots, uh, both hit, and it's going to deal. Okay, cool. They're dead. They turn into Bloop. ash. Bloop. That's my battle tactic done. <laughs> let's go for these Fulminators into Glutos. You will get hit neither time. For shooting, we're going to go on to charging. Let's go with the Annihilators declaring a charge. Yeah. They go nine. Yeah, nice. Look at that. That's, that's ideal. We're going to go into the Bliss Barb. All right. They're going to end there, and they are going to go ahead and do their impact as before on Leashell. I roll nine dice against the unit, and because I have three Annihilators, every four up is a mortal wound. I deal four mortal wounds. So you killed back. one. I, did, I kill one entire guy. Not bad. Okay. I assume you don't want to unleash hell then. I'm not going to. Yeah, because you want to save. Them. I want to. Yeah. yeah, I need to. I need to do an all-out defense on Glutos to just save them against the crazy three damage dragons if they want to come in. Well, here's the twist. I will not be charging. You're not charging. No charge. Okay, fair enough. That just means what's the rend on them? One. Okay, so I will probably then all out yeah, defense exactly. there. There's no point for me charging into there because they have rend two. He'll have all of defense and finest hour, so he'll have his three up save. Correct. Five up ward save afterwards. I'd rather just. Kind of clean these guys up a little bit. And hope for the double turn. And hope for the double turn. The yeah, Bastion coming in as well. Yeah. All depending on, like, but unless the objectives show up over here. Yeah, so that was just a deterrent, right? Yes, which exactly. helps deter, which is exactly what I needed. Indeed. Yeah. They're just going to hold back. Go over to here. We're going to fight first with our lady. We are going to pile in to about here. Yep. And attack the fiends. Got her three attacks on fours because they're stinky fiends. And nothing. Aw, boo. Oh, well. She tried. Yeah, that means no <laughs> depravity points, I guess. I killed one yeah. uh, with Mystic Shield <laughs> or Arcane Bolt. I will definitely be attacking with those fiends. I will all out defense herself. Uh, so she's what, a two up save or something? She'll have a two up save, yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the regular attacks? No sixes. Three is two. Okay. Uh, one that's D3 at minus one and one that's one. So the D3, we pass and we pass. Two tails. tails. That's a that one and a two. Okay, well that was lackluster. <laughs> Pile in the annihilators, and they will get to swing. Only two of them can swing. Third, third one can't make it, unfortunately. I will. I will uh, all out defense. defense them because that's the end of the battle round anyway. Exactly. So. Seven attacks. I should be negative one hit because glucose is nearby. Okay, it didn't really matter though. And three. That is three wounds that run one. So okay. you're so five up. Yeah. And that does just two damage. Two damage. One left, and you so get the pile in. And, and I do get the pile in a fight. Four attacks from the Bliss Barb Seeker Archers. They're hitting on fours, wounding on fours. That's a pair of hits. No rend on these, just one. They have a two up save. Yep. Yes. Then the, the actual Seeker. Yeah, the, the Poison Tons. Threes and threes. Not the sorry, Seeker. With an extra right. hit there. Ooh, nice. And threes. No rend on these either. Four. Two plus. We're good. Yep. Is that it? I was just looking for a depravity, so. Yeah, exactly, yeah. They're bravery so bravery seven. can't fail there. Um, I did lose one here. But they're demons. They're demons, so they can't fail. So depravity, though. Depravity, I get one for this uh, mortal wound you did. I get two. I get three for the fiends. I get four for the bliss barb seekers. And then five because my uh, general is in your territory. Now, this, this only triggers on uh, the Heat Knight turn, but still getting up to nine depravity points after everything is said and done. Correct. Uh, I still have the Mystic Shield there. Uh, for battle tactics. Uh, you killed my battle line. I uh, did, yeah. but I had misplayed over here, actually. I think I did. I moved. I committed too much on the uh, piling in. I think I. Oh no, I didn't. Oh goodness, I thought I took conquest. But you I didn't think take I, conquest. No, but no, I think I killed. still didn't get the objective though. I think uh, I screwed that one up. Unless I didn't pile in too far. No, I. I. You have three. Okay, and perfect. I've only okay. got the one more. I balling. It looks like those two are a little too far. But you're right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I get two points for that. Two points for the battle tactics. That's so four. it's a tie game six six. We're to the third battle round now. We're gonna roll off to see where these objectives show up. Oh, that's right. Roll for yours or mine first. Um, let's roll for for mine first. All right. So same thing. Same thing. Uh, less than seven. Seven, seven. More, it's in uh, the middle of the. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, so it's over there. Ooh, it's around that rock area. And then I'll, I'll roll for mine. Low yeah. is over here. 
Uh, oh, I'm actually over here with mine. Ooh, the, uh, interesting. So it's actually going to be a very, very so weird style game. Interesting. I like it. So the a vein opens up here near the yeah. fiends and my knight and cantor, and over here a the vein opens up near the miramidesh. All right. Not. Yeah. yeah I guess the miramidesh. Mm -hmm. Now, very important roll. I'm in a great spot if I win this roll off. Well, I think it's it's not. I have bad. a good idea. It's I have good. a good. Like oh, no! <laughs> dang it! Ah, that sucks. <laughs> I, I will. Seen the one. I will continue. Damn. Giving the initiative. Damn. I definitely. Don't oh. want you to double turn me. Oh, oh no. I had such a good plan set yeah. up to you. Oh, well, that's all you good. You set it up. You know what? Yeah. But that's the thing. If you uh -oh. give up when you lose so much and don't set something up for yeah. like magic to happen, then uh -oh. again, they're really tough. So I'm not in a bad spot, but no, I would have been not. in a very good spot with Correct. the plan I had. Oh, well. Correct. Turn three for the Hedonites. We're going to be gaining our command points. Two for the Hedonites are going first. Three for the Stormcast Eternals. I have to go back to the five up ward save on them. Oh, yes. For the third battle round. The Twin Souls. Okay, and then we're going to do some. Uh, so let's start with a heroic recovery. On. Uh, no, no. Uh, let's do it. Yeah, Glutose will heroically recover. We'll attempt a heroic recovery. Yeah, so He's going to roll. Try. Ooh. He gives himself. He'll succeed. D3 he, for him. One wound. Excellent. Two up for the ward. Let's pray for that ward save. Oh, it fails. Oh no, that's fascinating. Sting. <laughs> that's fascinating. <laughs> I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go ahead and. Ooh. Actually, I'm not gonna conquer. I'm gonna go ahead and do pick two out of my territory and hold two out of that my one. territory. And this one. Both of them. Ah, good. Correct. That's aggressive expansion. I aggressive expansion. My action will be willpower on my lord imperitant. I'm going to open up with the mirror. Let's see if the mirror comes in. With a plus one cat. Oh, there it is again. All right. D3 <laughs> mortal wounds, I guess. <laughs> Three. Three. Does and he care does... about these this time? Okay, he oh, takes two. He takes two. Okay. <laughs> no. I guess. Oh, no, he doesn't have his feel no pain. He takes oh, three. he takes all three. One, two, three. Huh. Wah, 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 I'll let him wah. just kill himself, I guess, <laughs> at this rate. Oh, uh, from Glutose, we go to this sorceress. Uh, no, she's not going to go for Arcane Bolt. She'll go for um, Mystic Shield. Shield? Yeah. Uh, I, do I get minus one to my unbinder? Um, no, um, okay. just, uh, just cast rolls, so nothing happens there. I'm going to use a command point to gorge on excess with Glutos, which means if he, um, if he fit, kills an enemy unit in combat, he basically heals any wounds that remain to be allocated to the unit after they die. Correct. He'll go to heal him. You know what the best part about that ability is? No roll required for it to succeed. Yeah. <laughs> It just happens. <laughs> so he can't possibly stumble that one. He can't fumble that, right? How yeah. can he? So Glutose is going to run. Mr. Glutose will run. He can run and charge. He's going to go an extra two inches. Oh, he's backing straight up. Yeah. 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 Well, he's in, this is his weakest possible state. Correct. No ward save. <laughs> uh, down wounds. No spells on him protecting him. Correct. The Seekers, the seekers are going to move. Can they retreat and shoot? No. No, okay. they cannot. They can still retreat, though. That's fair for them. Ah, you're making many... Protect Glutos at all costs! <laughs> I love it. I'm going to redeploy the Annihilators. Yep, makes sense. They're going to order themselves to redeploy. They're going to go D6 inches. Uh, oh, there's a one. There it is. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> there we go. The Mermadesh Painbringers. Hello. Hello and hello. These Mermadesh Painbringers are going to run. Ooh, very fast. What do they normally move? Uh, six, I think. Five oh. or six. Three over Whee! there. Those are the guys who got shot at early on. Early yep. Like like. <clears throat> what about the character? I'm not sure what I'm going to ah. do with him. He's going to move and run. Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... How far do they go? 14. <gasps> Aggressive. Stop it. And <laughs> the Bliss Barb Seekers will run. Two. Two. So they go 18 inches. So fast. <laughs> move block them. <laughs> Maybe it works. It's, it's, it's good. Uh, the Twin Souls are going to run as well. Oh, oh they go 14. Oh. <laughs> they are dashing. This direction. Yeah. That just, looks like a, a Savage Spearhead unit if I've ever seen one. That's correct. <laughs> Boop, gonna get on the objective, so make sure with, with them and her two wound, her two count beats my two count. Um, so right. I am going to move him out the, this way. I, I don't even know what his name is, Bringer of Pain? Uh, the, the Lord of Pain. Oh, the Lord of Pain. The I, Lord my apologies, of pain. my Lord. Yes, you better. The, shooting. They retreated, so they can't do anything. No shooting for them, but they uh, can. They can. So Ooh. I will be doing um, no lookouts or any more into that one. Not even remotely. So close. I'll be doing. Uh, the the sergeant into there. Champion there, okay. Uh, then I'll be doing one, one, uh, one, two. Okay. And one. I will all of defense them with the Lord Imperator. Yeah. For free. I put. Are we starting with them? Okay. 
on four is it? Okay, that's a couple of hits. Oh, uh, start of the shooting phase. My apologies. Let's see if I can get plus one to wound in the combat phase. That's weird. Do you have to do with the shooting phase? I do. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a three up. It works. Look in my mirror. Thank Look you. in my mirror. She does. Unfortunately. Into the them. And that's uh, a mortal. That's a mortal. Oh dang. Okay. Well, all the <laughs> defense is worthless there. <laughs> Down to a wound. Okay. Into your Lord Commander, hitting on fives. We have a uh, hit. One. Come on, mortal. Ah, oh, no, Ooh. not today. <laughs> Fishing for mortals. And eh? then over here. Yeah. Well, you have such a good armor the, save. The armor save is ridiculously high. Yeah. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Oh, that's a pair Lord of wounds, two. though. Rend and one. That's Ooh. two damage. Nicely done. One two. One into your little sorcerer. That's one, two hits. Two hits. Come on, mortal. Yeah! That's a mortal. Oh, she is near an objective now, though. Bless oh, the objective. Oh, that's true. That's true. Ah! <laughs> down to four and then charging. The Myrmidesh. Charge! Make it in? That's, uh, yep. Not going to be in. Is that a reroll or no? I'm going to spend it. That's forward to victory. Oh, that's an eight. Does bring Scarry down to zero, though. Yeah. Ah, uh, they're in it. They're in, in it. it. To win it. And plus and you get more models. Glutos. Glutos. Oh, gross. I hate that. <laughs> uh, I guess it doesn't matter if I only rolled a one on my uh, my feel no pains or my uh, redeploy. Sure, he rolled a ten, anyways. Let's get him in there. Hello. Hey, what's going to all out defense those annihilators for one command point? I have one left. And we're gonna fight first with the Mermidesh. Sorry, everyone. Correct. Filing them in a little bit. Okay, threes. Threes to hit. Sixes explode. We have a six and threes to wound. Sixes do mortals. Oh my gosh! <laughs> You're gonna do four mortal wounds to me, my man. In addition to. Oh wow. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> And four more. We got the ward save. We make one of them, so that's three mortal wounds so far. And then how many saves? Six. Ooh. I did all the defense. I have a two up save. Oh damn! Take it two more. Ward. That's oh, two more. That's five damage. That's gonna be five damage. I kind of. Oh, I want to go for. It. I'll take you because you're kind of in the middle, anyways. And then I'll put uh, two more damage on you. You have one wound left. Oh, but you know what? I gotta pull that guy. Just because I want him to Thunderstrike. Yeah, makes Oh, sense. the other guy might have been with him. Nah, we'll say he wasn't. I already pulled him. So we'll pull that guy. And then uh, you'll have one wound left. And he's going to do his uh, returning to his ear rule on them. Now, he does have the Thunderstrike keyword. He'll throw four dice at them. Looking for sixes. Nada. Go with the Annihilators before they get knocked out. We're just going to pile in. Bloop. We'll go both into the Mermidesh Warriors. Seven attacks because the champion on fours. Oh, he stopped Ooh, one of them. Oh, very nice. And then these wound on threes. Ah, three wounds, red one. Okay, four up goes to a three up, goes back to a four up. And uh, it's two damage each. I take one casualty. <sighs> Were they, does it reduce, oh, sorry, it's two damage each, my bad. That kills two damage two. each? Yeah, it kills two of them, yeah. Okay, so two go down. Boom, boom. Blah. Go ahead with the fiends over here. Correct. Go, Knight and Canter, go, please live. Wound. Plus one wound. Yeah, so three is to hit with the rest oh! attacks. That's three more hits. And Very scary. You are Mystic Shielded, but not all out uh, defense Not all out defense, time. yeah. Two's to wound. One of those is D3 damage, which yep. I will pass. And yep. then six remaining. Six regulars. Which are also three plus saves. I'll take one damage. So, oh, objective. So, oh, that's one damage. I got three wounds left. And then we'll go ahead and roll the tails. The here. tails! Both hit. Needing twos to wound ya. Ooh, there's a Ooh, Good excellent. thing you got the plus one. Yeah. Ah, we passed though. It's nice. only Ren one, right? Yes, yeah, Ren one. So, three wounds left. And I believe she's my only eligible pick. So, she's gonna go ahead and hit, uh, pull out a sword, swing her staff around into the fiends. Uh, they're not, are they negative one to hit? They are. Uh, one wound at Ren 1. Uh, sixes. I do two damage. Two damage. Not the champion there. So we are scrapping. We are scrapping, scrapping, scrapping. So I like it. Okay. Uh, uh, Glutos time. Glutos. It's Glutos time! Can Glutos do it? I don't know. They're all out <laughs> defense, so it's yeah. definitely going to be interesting. And I don't have anything for an all out attack, and it's not as uh, fine a style or anything. <laughs> so we're going to try our darndest here. Okay, I still have the Painbringer and the Lashmaster. Yes. So these are the Great Blades. The Great Blade, this is the good rend one. Uh, that's a hit. That's only one hit though. One at rend two. One plus save goes to a three plus, which is a six. We're good. The, the crush. Crushing Claws, I only get five attacks this time. A little hurt. No sixes. Okay, one okay. Miss. Still need threes. These are only rend one though. Ooh, two. quite enough to get through their thick plate. Ah, they're good enough. And then I will go ahead and do the Flaying Scourge from the Lash Master. Whip, whip, whip. Hey, two hits. Nice. And fours. Okay. One. And we're good. No good. damage. So that is a big that score. That is it. Yeah, no, no battle shocks are doing it right. No battle it. shocks. They are eight because of. Oh no, they it's within twelve. You don't have Correct. to take tests. Oh yeah, third battle round. Yes. But I didn't take any wounds on Glutos this turn. I did take casualties here. That's one depravity. Two. Two depravities. Three depravities. 
four, four. depravities, oh, gross. five depravities, six depravities, seven depravities. Because, because it's your turn. It yes. is my turn. So you're at, ooh, 16. Well, well, it's going to bring it to my turn. Uh, other than scoring, you do get, uh, what was your battle tactic? Where was your battle tactic? Uh, you so you got it. Hold, I, yeah, both it was of it, these. Yeah. It was those so I will get four. two for that. I will get three, six, nine more. Uh, yeah. What That's 11 each? points. I have to, I have to wrestle point. these back. 11. It's not impossible, mind you. But uh, I have to try pretty hard to do it. You're at 16 so many points, depravity points. I'm at 6 to 11. I'm going to I'm gonna have to punch up <laughs> to get some of these uh, objectives back. I'm going to go with Conquest. I'm going to try and take this objective back this turn. This is what I want to do. I don't think I'll be able to control two. I'm definitely not going to be able to control two out of my territory. I can maybe get that one back, but not that one over there. So we're going to try and take this objective back in the name of Sigmar. Uh, all those fails, we have Bastion Carthalos, maybe, who could help out quite a bit there. And uh, we are going to do regular hero face things. We're going to use our free command ability on him to rally them and try and get some of the Vindictors Ooh, back. that's cool. And I'm going to get just one back. And a Vindictor up there. Kind of makes a coherence a little weird in case that model dies, but, I mean, should reasonably die. Some spells, we're going to attempt to reapply Mystic Shield. I am negative on the cast. Yes. So I will get it with a six. I will attempt to deny you that. You do I don't. not. Okay, you were having a hard time. <laughs> well, My magic, the magic hasn't, is, yeah, hasn't not really today. done anything. I'm, I'm going to keep trying to defend them as much as I can by throwing up the endless spell. The endless spell might be better. I'm going to go for the Geminids, because that way they can't unleash hell. If I, if I, or I'll have the Geminids around here. I'll throw the Geminids out. Okay, we got it. Can't I can't stop, stop that. Can't stop that. Some of the Geminids right there hovering there. I want them to hit that unit and that unit just to do some more wounds and then kind of end up in that same position because they can move, pass over, and just end, end in a safe spot. Just to maybe do a mortar wound to them and then make it so they can't redeploy or uh, maybe, only if I get the mortar wound off. That is it for her two spells because uh, she missed the shield. And I guess I'll just go ahead and move the Geminids now. This one's going to move to there and to there. And then this one's going to go hoop, hoop for now. And then I'm going to roll on a two plus. Okay, they're, they're fine. And then the... Yeah, they take a mortal take wound. A One whole mortal wound, and they can't do any command mm. abilities until the combat phase. You go with leadership, I guess, as my uh, tactic. Okay. Got it. All right. You can I'm going to heroically recover this Lord of Pain. And he is good. D3. That's right. Back up uh, three wounds. Goes up to his full. Nice. They're going to end there with that move. We'll move there with the Lord Imperitant. We're going to move the Fulminators up here-ish. Gonna yeah, take up that position there. Because it's gonna be uh, maybe I was gonna I just need a nine inch charge essentially to get in to clear uh, the building here or to clear the ruins to charge down properly. That is I don't believe I'm gonna move them because I don't want to risk the redeploy. I don't know if there is a big maneuver there, but like no need to really do it. There's a four inch charge anyways, it should be okay. And if they fail it, well that's on me. And then at the end of the movement phase, we're gonna use his guided by lightning ability to bring Bastion Cartholos in because he does have the Thunderstrike keyword. Amazing. Uh, just outside of seven inches. Gonna come do somewhere. some lightning bolts. Yes. Now he doesn't do any fancy mortal wounds when he shows up. He just he, he just shows up really close. He just shows up real close. Yeah. I think the best spot to give me some victory points, assur almost assuredly, or hopefully, will be right here outside of seven of them. We're gonna start with the Fulminator shooting their lightning breath down at those Bliss Barb Seekers. Yep. Fours. One hits yes. and one more wound. Aha. That's that's all I do there. Yeah. Then these fulminators are negative one hit because Glutos is there. It's all attacks, or is it just combat ones? It's just everything. All attacks. Minus one hit. Let's do it in let's do it in Glutos. We don't like his face. Fives. <laughs> hey, we hit him. He's gonna suffer two mortal wounds. I can't save him that. Remember the Lord Imperitan shooting attack. I've just not been doing it recently. He's gonna put it also into the Bliss Barb Seekers there. Yep. Very good attack, so I haven't been too concerned with it. Six shots. Then twelve of Glutos, so four is to hit. Ooh, it stopped to hit. And threes to wound him. One rend? Rend one. Uh, six ups. One damage. Yeah. We are going to go on to charging here. <clears throat> Let's do it. Probably, in hindsight, probably should have gone for aggressive expansion because I think that's more likely than this. But we are going to start with charging these Fulminators. Oh my oh, no. gosh, it happened. Oh no. It actually happened, everyone. Is that oh, that sucks. I'm not going to reroll it. Even though it's a four up to go, I, I have more important rerolls. So I'm just going with these guys. I'm going to charge seven. They don't make it because they have to clear all the way down. And they're going to forward to victory. Uh, I guess they'll do it on themselves. Yeah. Just... So no, so basically for free? Uh, it's going to cost me a command point. Oh, okay, nice. Now nah, they fail it. Okay. Boo. Then. That's need... the reroll, right? That's the that's the reroll. No, and then the if he oh, fails it too. No. Oh, no. Oh. He would have pa passed the other reroll. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, that is... Uh... <laughs> 
Setting up for the double turn. That's yeah, what that is. That's true. <laughs> well, if I, that, that, what that means now is if I don't get the double turn, the game is mathematically over, uh, unfortunately. Because you'll just be able to score and you just end your turn and th that would be game. Ah, uh, crap. That sucks. Okay, well, let's go with these Vindictors declaring a charge. Bloop. They go five. Let's stick with the plan. They're going to go over there and then the Lord Imperitant will declare a charge as well. Nine. Oh, nice. nice. Look at you go. That certainly made this a lot more difficult. So that's our charges. That's where we're at here. And uh, we're going to go on a fighting. I don't know where I want to fight first, though. Probably with the Annihilators. We're going to have them beat up the... Mermidish Warriors. Yep. Hitting them on mm, fours because the negative Correct. one. Correct. I'll throw I'll throw the all out attack from his uh, heroic from leadership three. on them. Yeah. So yes. back to threes. Got me one more hit. Sure. Nice. And uh, wounds on threes. Oh, I'm supposed to all the defense. Up. That's, all, that's okay. Whatever. It's all good. <laughs> Four wounding hits. Negative one. <laughs> they, they, uh, fours. Yeah, we'll go back to their base. But they're two maybe. damage each. Oh, that kills all three uh, of them. You just <laughs> nah. you just murder them. Bam. Blip. Choosing the Bliss Barb Seekers uh, to kind of cordon off the Lord Imperitant's attempt at going towards Glutos. Yeah, gonna try to keep Glutos alive as much as I can. And then one of them can attack. So I just the have Lord one, and then this is a two inch reach ah, on that one. So nasty one dunk. little attack miss. hits. Oh, it hits? Oh, uh, sorry. I thought there were fours of fours. Yeah. You are correct. It's the other ones that are better. <laughs> Poison tongues. Oh, yay. Oh, many hits. <laughs> No rend on these, four saves. Yeah, four <laughs> up save. Oh, sorry, th three up save. He Wait. takes two damage. Oh, He's... no rerolls because they're only damage. They're only one damage. Yeah. Ward, he takes both. Go down to five. And then I will go with the Vindictors here. Mm -hmm. uh, attacking. Oh, I could take out a Fiend. Uh, yeah, we'll go We'll go for the Knight and Cantor attacking the Fiends. Yep. On fours. Staff attacks. Oh, we miss. Bliss Bob Seekers. Bliss Bob Seekers will. They will go uh, next. Let's see. Yeah, he's closer this way. So he'd have to kind of go this way. Ah, I see. Four of the little tongues. Boop, 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 boop. Extra hit there. And no rend on these, just uh, three. Three of them? With the three tongues. Three, three, three ups. I take a damage. Boop, and that will kill one of them off. And then is that it for their attacks, or do they have to uh, do the riders? I still have the little rider, oh. guys. So, ooh. Five hits with the riders, though. And. Ooh. Three more? Three. I take one more damage. Uh, there's no objective. They're not wholly within 12 of an, of an objective. That guy's probably too far away. He's just yeah. out, yeah. So I take my two damage, you'll die, and you'll maybe do some more wounds back, and you'll take a wound. We'll put a wound on that guy there. And then they have Thunderstrike keyword, so they do no more wounds. And that's it for those attacks. I will go with those Vindictors, because uh, that's where the camera's looking. <laughs> Hitting on fours, maybe? No, probably threes. Ooh, that's a more wound. Mortal. And threes to wound. That's also Ooh. somehow six wounds that Ren won. Sixes on them. So, so I lose one, two, and one takes the wound. All right, well, I didn't expect that much damage from three <laughs> Vindictors, but okay, they're punching up. They're definitely punching above their weight class, which is okay. They brought one back just to have a party. <laughs> the Fiends are next. Okay, Fiends. I will all those defense over here <laughs> with my one remaining command point. Excellent. Since I forgot Really the try to keep it alive. Yeah, keep, keep the fight going over here. I don't think here. I get the plus one to wound. I think it's only in the, inst the ah, next command phase I see, I see. for the mirror. However, these two are going to be D3 if they go through. One does go through. It's so only rend one. Oh, wait, no, I have a two up. She's got two up safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, then two regulars. Two regulars, two pluses. Oh, Ooh, that's a day. I did a wound. Ward? Yeah, that's a, that's a two wounds. And up. the tails. The tails. Both hit. Hits. Ooh, here we go. Threes, Ooh, two. Twos. Oh, oh, so close. Clutch all out defense. <laughs> she just doesn't want to die this day. Okay. Yeah. Lord Imperitant, he'll strike at oh, the fiends. Bliss Barb Seekers, I should say. This blessed Warhammer fours, because we're near Glutos. And threes. Three wounds, random one. Sixes. I do two damage each. So that kills okay. one and a half. Or yeah. two, actually. There's two, a wound yeah. You'll kill two. So. Boom, boom, boom. You when I got that one. Actually, you know what? I'll kill this one, too. Okay. This little Griffhound, Vicious Beak. Uh, <laughs> I think it'll hit some fives, because Glutos. It makes a fours and fours. Fours to wound. Ah, one vicious beak wound, no rend. Oh, fives. Aha. No, don't do it. <laughs> one damage. <laughs> Lutos' turn. <laughs> He's getting closer. Did I'm I... not going to get within three inches of the Lord Adjutant guy. Lord Imperitant, the respect Lord... his okay, title. Okay, <laughs> Respect. All out attack with his last command. Pointer. I am definitely going to try all out attack here. So hitting on twos with the Wailing Great Blade. What's a six? Nice. I like that. Three to wound at Ren 2. Three wounding hits. They don't have all their defense, so these are four up saves. Oof, that's all three. That'll be Ward? dead. Uh, there's uh, four wounds left on the unit. There should be four wounds left. There's three plus one. Yeah, it's two oh, damage Oh, they're two damage each. each. Oh, right. Yeah. So I failed three of them. Oh, gosh. 
I forget. Oh, no, you fa yeah, failed three. Okay, now they're dead, yeah. Okay, so how many, I need to count how much damage, oh. because then I have to do all his other attacks. Oh, those, and that's well, a... anything that passes over is mm. going to heal me. That's until his next hero Correct. phase. Correct. Uh, okay, let's hope the Crushing Claws don't okay. do super hot here. Twos to hit with the Crushing Claws. Ooh. Two additional. Ooh. And threes to wound with the Crushing Claws. So that would be four at rend one. Would like three pluses here. Oh, make them all good. Ooh, a Scourge. Scourge. Both well, three hits. Excellent. And needing fours to wound. One at no rend. Two plus. Come on, die. There it is. Okay. Okay, so I did use do four damage, and then out of all of my attacks, it was only one, one over because kill. you passed all of your saves against the uh, quite good the uh, crushing claws. So I will heal, heal one. one. Now this guy dies too far away, Boop. Yep. but he can try to retaliate with four dice, and I'll deal two mortal wounds. So he goes nets down one. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Sure. <laughs> Well, on to scoring. I do not conquer this objective, nor do I take it, because that's still under Slanesh control. Uh, I, this one is, you have the three model equivalent to my two, so... Well, two models. So he's just out. Oh, he's out? Yeah, okay, yeah, well, he's so still, it's still yours then, and I was not able to take that one. Uh, and then, oh, doesn't this count as a single model? Uh, so that be three? That's a unit worth, uh, with a wound characteristic of seven. Oh, it's one unit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I do owe you a bravery test here. Uh, bravery six, and they lost two. They're gonna lose two more. Okay, somehow two more are running. Blup, blup. Well, we're beating up the slash stuff, that's for sure. We do depravity at the end of your turn. I did one wound under the sorcerer. One! I killed a unit, slash did immortal, so that's two. two. That unit is, is under full strength, three. I did a four. wound yep. four there. This unit is under full strength, five. And then he ha has taken wounds, so six. Six more? That puts you at 22. <laughs> Interesting. I'm, the only hope I have is winning the priority roll off here, because unfortunately for scoring, I am getting zero points. So if I don't, where I, where I could have been lined up to get also a lot of points, the charges had failed me, and sometimes that happens. That's you know the, what? It's been, it's yeah. been a crazy game so Killing far. Killing-wise, it's been super back and forth. We've gone yeah. back and forth. In terms of positioning, I think the Slanesh just pinned you into a corner because yeah. of that double turn. And you didn't get the double turn to break out of it. Not quite, no. However, we'll see what happens. Boop. I got a one. That's it. That's game. There you go. I will throw in the towel there. Okay. Hiya! Good game. Good game, Seth. Glutos didn't die. Not, oh, uh, not uh, quite uh, at all. That uh, was like, uh, that was rough. That was hard. That oh, was oh, I that my for both of us collectively. I can't wait to talk about it in the post game. So exactly. make sure you head on over to post game. We're gonna talk about the game. <laughs> what happened? Some of the shenanigans, like Luca failing every charge roll <laughs> he had to make on that crucial turn. That was a very important turn. That was definitely oh, very even if I made turn. a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much for checking out this battle report, everyone. Don't forget. We have another Age of Sigmar Battle Report paired with it in the Mini Wargaming Vault. All you have to do, if you're not a Vault member and you want to check it out, click on the link down below and you can get yourself a 7-day free trial. And that game will be Magikin up against the Heathen Knights of Slanesh in a 2,000 point game. And we got the Glockkin and Glutos. We're back, babies. Oh, post game. Okay, so let's do an overview on my hypothetical double turn here, which could, like, it wouldn't have won me the game by any means, but it would have got me deep into it because I was kind of lined up to oh, okay my best turn no nothing fails right that's what that's what's going on here we are going to they would like move like maybe down here if they can make it if not they just linger up there and then it's like only a four inch charge to get in which isn't as bad they shoot lightning at them charge in i don't know about the geminids who cares about them they're gonna do whatever they're stuck there fighting that's fine that's not very important these guys light up glutose all out attack hit on fours maybe do some mortal wounds he goes to threaten them. Hopefully they don't redeploy too far, but I would still do the full move. And then he'd maybe be able to wrestle that objective back from them. Maybe, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. He might actually, just, I, I think I'd honestly just keep at him this where point, he is. At yeah. this point, you'd want to try kill Glutos. Yeah, I'd go and, for the Glutos kill, yeah. Because if you did, got that double turn, Glutos has no, uh, 11 wounds remaining with no um, yes. ward save. He could do an, a recovery, which is what I would try to do. Right. To just try and keep him alive just a little bit. I was and hoping. And you, you'd get the recovery probably. I was hoping. Plus, yeah. I could still, if he did kill anything, he'd heal again because he still has that because I wouldn't have had a, a hero phase yet. Correct. Um, but if you kill the sorcerer and you kill Glutos, you deny me my three points. Yes. You'd kind of have to go for killing my, and that's, my sorcerers. The, that was the turn five play. I was going to yeah. have them take this out, then turn five go. Mm -hmm. Even though she could run away, they're quite quick as well. They might be able to keep up to her. Yep. Uh, and then the... I, I will say, MVP-wise, my Fiends are my MVP because they really changed the whole pace of the oh, yes. game by just completely destroying that flank. Get, being able to get eight depravity... It was a perfect first, storm. ...in the first yeah. battle round was incredible. 
It was, awesome. it, you, couldn't, you couldn't ask for a better outcome. It was like, you got exactly what you needed for them. That's a great unit to summon turn one. And yep. then you got the double turn, and then you made the nine, to summon them, and then you made the summon nine and charge. Summon two, they turn two, turn two summon. It was yes. a turn two summon, and then into a nine and charge. Ludicrous. But, I, I, but I, I like, I like, that puts pressure on me. All of a sudden, okay, I gotta, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. These guys walking up here, it's okay, they don't really make the charge, because it's nine, that's expected. Uh, and and then I was I had to immediately I had to like figure out exactly okay my unit my army is not nearly as fast as theirs I had to figure out where they're gonna be fighting for the rest of the game these guys are gonna go kill them and then try and hunt her down because uh, I thought they'd be fast enough to do it maybe and then these guys were gonna ideally break that screen this turn and then get the double turn to get glutose now they lost enough that I could still probably get glutose on the double turn yeah with yeah. the with the charge you'd be able with to the charge yeah I don't even I don't even yeah. I don't know if I'd move or not I'd probably take a little bit more time to think about that on my on my fourth turn there just in case I yeah yeah just in case I uh, move to redeploy you or, or something redeploy exactly I, basically my my turn if you double turn me would be to try and protect glutose try to keep him alive yeah. just enough to just be annoying basically yep. and then just go for the objectives because if you took any of the objectives back that's when i would do my um like this turn you didn't take any of the objectives back so because i did i just go for move and get my points correct easy because yeah. now i can get my sorcerer and them and they just move in and just get a couple more depravity i was going to be summoning a keeper of secrets and basically bringing and that's keeper. another reason why I could, yeah yeah the keeper comes in at this point and the keeper yep. basically acts as like a as like a bully right here over and, there yeah. and you know they might not kill him but it literally shore up like whatever's over here exactly. and then next turn on turn five i have enough to summon just a couple keeper. more either yeah. a second keeper or yeah. like 30 demonettes or something exactly silly basically so. I, I i essentially needed to make sure that yeah. i got enough pressure on the objectives before you summon a keeper or 30 demonettes and then got some more points on the board because at this point scary doesn't have to do a lot he just gets nope. max points again 4 8, 12 probably and then whatever your conch, uh, your battle tactic which is, which would an be easy one. go into your zone, exact spearhead. Which, yeah, so, so you get 16 more points. So yeah. the score would be 27 to my six, Crazy and then high. <laughs> it's, it's over at that point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's, that means I don't even have to kill anything to do it. Basically. Exactly. You know like, that, that's the that's the thing about yeah. it. Yeah, that's why I know it's an easy concede. Mm -hmm. You don't have to roll a single die to make it happen. No, because I yeah. I just run run them back here. Yep. Right. So I've got basically the objective with glutose. Move them back there. They stay here. That's I don't I don't have to roll a single dice. That's a guaranteed win. That That's it. it. It came down to that priority roll off there. It was just the, the perfect storm early on, and then that really rough uh, third turn. Held on to for the initial. I was like, <laughs> that was it. You, you, the best you could. That yeah. sometimes that happens. And yeah. you know what? I still think it was a great game. Well, I, yeah. we, I liked your list though. You, the, those thunder hammer shield guys—they terrify me every time. Well, they're so hard to screen against, oh. and like they're gonna get their mortal wounds in. They're probably gonna get the charge in, and then do those mortal wounds. They're on like the a charge. chariot when they charge, except they're much better than a chair. <laughs> they, they, they're hard to take out too. Yeah. They're really hard to get off the table. Now, this is very characteristic of a newly painted model, I must say. Mr. Carthol, I will, I'll try him again. I'm definitely going to play him again. He shows up, uh, doesn't make his charge, and then the game ends. Now, <laughs> I built this list before knowing what the scenario is, as is yeah. the proper as etiquette. How we do. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we get the scenario. I'm like, ah, crap. It's like uh, a, a progressive scoring. It's like a score later. So I can't like have him on the table turn one. I can't do like aggressive turn one plays with him. I have to hold him in reserve until turn. Uh, three or two or three, but based on where I need the annihilators down more than I needed him. I could have had him show up, but there's a lot more value on the third turn. Where's that? Where's that third objective going to go? He could show up near it and threaten it, which is exactly what I tried to do. But the like had your objective there. shown up here, right? And you had most of your army here. I could. And had that not been here, that would have, that would have made it a closer game as well. I agree. Or even if yep. the objective was like towards the middle. Yeah, they right? could just like perch they up there. They could just and stay hold it, there yeah. and force me to come towards you. Where in this case, I even had these twin souls just ready to come in. And, and we've seen how much damage things. they can do. Holy yeah. moly, was I surprised. I, exactly. I think they will go in and mulch like little horde infantry units. Oh, that absolutely. Have, like, low oh my gosh, they tear them to shreds, dude. Mm. I'd love to see it. I well, I thought it was reroll once to wound, reroll wound rolls and hit rolls, but it's the same as their command ability. Which means I'd want to pair them up with a plus one to wound from the little sorcerer. Yes, exactly, exactly that. Yeah. Well, anyways, folks, that's it for this game. Scary and I are going to go figure out what to do for a second game here. Oh, it's probably cool. not, I don't know if it has anything to do with this game. <laughs> the, no. the release order is uh, out of our control. But uh, this gives us time to go do a second game. It's going to be fun. Enjoy. Absolutely. Happy Wargaming. Happy Wargaming.